since when have I ever had a camera that was just charged, that had an SD card in it waiting to be used? It's never happened. <laughs> Not in the history of my life. Hey. a video about this it's a little bit more in depth but I just wanted to shout out not dating being single I'm not a relationship expert clearly but I'm the closest that I'm gonna get it to a me expert at some point you got to sit down and figure it out because it's not just who you're attracting it's who you're letting stay in the situation it's who you're staying in a situation with it's who you're creating a situation with uh when it's just nothing but a distraction and sometimes you got to feel those distractions in your body you got to feel that thing in your body um you know you got to experience the young adult novel the cosmopolitan article the romantic comedy that's actually sort of a horror movie um you got to feel it the joy of it now is going back and looking at songs I wrote or podcasts where I was just like beside myself and uh, not being able to remember the name of whoever I'm talking about. One, because they don't, it, I haven't thought about them in so long, they don't matter. Two, because there are patterns that were consistent through enough of them, similarities in such a way that you don't need to know the name because all the stories are just fuckery <laughs> and me sitting in and giving credence to and like giving away emotional power to fuckery therefore making it my fuckery <laughs> it's my mess and so you know what i love organizing in a way that i didn't in my 20s love to clean now and so here she is the version you've always been A lot of feelings plus a deep desire to communicate and mediate and honestly probably people please a little bit trauma plus a lot of men that just had unresolved issues with their ex were working with their exes were sleeping with their exes were living with their exes and weren't being entirely honest about the situation but underlined and divided by my curiosity or my belief that i can figure this out i can handle this again trauma keeping me curious for too long and thereby in addition to and equaling a lot of heartache and unnecessary heartache also with like a sprinkle of dating in los angeles i know you can't blame a city but there are definitely <laughs> there are some personalities that are drawn to these cities yeah i had a fair amount of situations <sighs> just several different eras Not answering that text. Not trying to have the last word. Not trying to solve issues or problems that you walked into that aren't yours. Not trying to mediate situations between someone you like and their ex. Not being shocked or surprised when someone that you actually don't know very well acts like someone you don't know very well. I don't know that feeling lonely for me is a reason to date. Um, because if I'm feeling lonely, there's no person that's necessarily going to fix that. And a romantic partner is not necessarily going to fix that for me. <laughs> for her. Okay. Someone can only be there or distract or help you for so long. At some point, it's just going to be you again. And how do I love myself? Or how am I my own best friend? Or how am I present with myself? that I can handle that loneliness before I expect that or I put that on anyone else, which I won't be if I'm providing it for myself. Then everything after that is kind of a bonus. When I do date again, whether that's I meet someone or I'm in a place where I'm like, you know what, let's turn on the dating apps. Let's, let's go out there. <sighs> I cringe still thinking about it because, oh my God. Some of the messages I've gotten on dating apps over the years, it's just like, oh, Jesus Christ. Just opening a Reddit forum 
You know that quote, you have to be better than my alone time. I like the idea of that quote, but for me, it would be, I'm still going to have my alone time for small. Okay, all right, that's not, I need, she needs it. <laughs> you don't have to be better than my alone time, but me with you has to be an experience that I want pulling from the banks and the reserves of my alone time. Um, because when I'm with you or around you, I feel charged up. I feel peace or joy or whatever comfort that I can just like sink into being who I am. Those are the feelings I'm looking for. And I know that that is a far cry than from some of the sparks that I've had over the years. I truly, in my heart, I feel like I'm the kind of bench that would be engaged for like 40 years. Like, let's just have a wedding every year. Let's have a little party, but also, I don't want to have to do paperwork if it doesn't end well. And who knows, listen, this video might be hilarious one day because I'm sitting here with like my three kiddos and my partner and I own a farm somewhere. I mean, again, anything can happen. Life can come at you so quick. All I can know now is what I know now. What I know now is that whatever comes next, I'm not gonna be pulled into the same things in the same way. Or I might be, but I'm gonna have a decision in a point where I'm like, you know what, this feels a little familiar. I feel this in my body and my stomach hurts right now. So I'm gonna listen to that actually, and I'm just gonna go home. Anyway, what are you all doing? You dating? In the time of COVID, how are you doing it? What are you doing? How are you meeting people? Are you enjoying the process of meeting people? Have you met a person? Have you broken up with a person? Are you in love, you fucking loser? Or are you, <laughs> are you happy, you fucking loser? <laughs> How dare you? That's it. Okay, say hi to your grandma's for me because I got a place to go. We'll touch like your face for much. I will see you when I see you. Bye.